Welcome to Kitchen Caravan. Tonight we are cooking not really Thai Thai noodles, and it's our interpretation of Pad Ki Mao, which is Thai drunken noodles. Now, the first thing you want to do is cook the noodles. You have to soak your noodles for about 15 minutes before you boil them, and you want to do this before you start cooking anything. And they only take about a minute to cook. Now, the most important thing about this dish is that you want to get everything together before you start cooking because it's a rapid stir fry and you won't have time to be running around your kitchen. So I'm going to mix together the ingredients for the sauce and this is the main feature of what makes this a Thai dish I would say. We have some soy sauce and we like to use tamari, oyster sauce, fish sauce and that's fish sauce is a characteristic ingredient in Thai cooking. A little bit of sugar, I'm using organic cane sugar, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of salt, and some lime juice. Whisk it together. I'm going to grind up some garlic, scallions, and chili peppers. And you just want to mash up these ingredients together. And you don't have to get it to a smooth paste, but you know, as close as you can. I'm also going to add some chopped up jalapeno, and I have uh, dried chili de arbol, which is a Mexican chili, but you can use it in Thai cooking. Now the first step is to fry this tofu and I'm doing this dish with tofu and scallops. We just want to give it like a nice crisp edge because it won't get that edge once we start stir frying everything. So I'm going to heat up my pan again. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh oil. And you want to use a very high heat oil because uh, stir fry like stir frying noodles is characterized by using high heat and cooking things very fast so all of their colors and flavors are retained. So now that our oil is hot, I'm going to add in the garlic and chili paste. And you don't want to dawdle at this point because you don't want to burn this mixture before you start cooking everything. Now I'm going to add my zucchini and my yellow squash. And I cut these very thin and in half moon shapes. So I want them to cook quickly. You know, move everything around the pan. And I add in my scallops. So start sauteing these in there too. I cut up these scallops into quarters. Everything cooks very quickly and if the scallops are gonna take a long time, you'll be stuck with, you know, burnt vegetables. Or if you think that it's getting too dry in the pan, you can just add a little bit of water and then scrape up the bottom. And that just keeps everything moist. When you see that the scallops are almost cooked through, you want to add back in that fried tofu that you did in the beginning. Now we're going to add our noodles, our tomatoes, and our sauce. And this is going to moisten everything and give it all the flavors. The noodles sort of clump together, and you're going to have to break that up with the sauce. And I'm going to add the tomatoes. And I use halved cherry tomatoes because they're small and they're cute and they look, just look good on this dish. Now the key ingredient of this dish is the basil and Thai people would be aghast if they saw me doing this because they use holy basil. But it's summertime here and there's tons of fresh basil so I'm going to use the fresh basil that I have available. And you just want to take about a cup, loose cup and finely chop it. And then last but not least I add this fresh basil. Now that the pan is off, I'm going to stir it in and the basil is going to sort of just wilt with the heat of the sauce and the noodles. So you can see that this really isn't a typical Thai dish, but it's using all of the fresh vegetables that we have in the summertime, so who can complain about that? Now it's your turn to try this at home and keep on cooking with Kitchen Caravan. Mm -hmm.